Good morning everybody, good afternoon and hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. We, engine is not going to shut down because we're about to head off. We just stopped outside of sight, we just had our break. One of our guys there going past. Yeah, we've just had our break. Ugh. Let's go on off. Yeah, so, sorry, that's what I'm saying. Just trying to concentrate then. So, we've just stopped and we had our break. Today is Tuesday, and this vlog is going to be one of those vlogs I was mentioning about in the last video, whereby I'm going to do a bit on one day, a bit on another day. Hopefully my microphone isn't in the way there. And, uh, so you're not seeing the same stuff over and over again. So, right now, we are in Fleet. Um, we've just been loaded before our break, uh, and then we've stopped to have a break. So now we're taking this um, full load of muck to Farnham, which is about 30 minutes away. We're going to tip it off at Farnham, and then we're going to come back, we're going to get reloaded, um, and then we'll probably end it there for videoing today and go on to the next day and you'll see something different. So, fingers crossed can't really cross the fingers because they're too fat <laughs> fingers crossed we'll um we're gonna see some different sites some different roads and yeah do some different stuff <laughs> this week it's supposed to be a really hot day as well so um not not day week really hot week so um i'm in the shorts you might see my legs at some point in this vlog who knows so i do apologize in advance <laughs> right let's crack on we've got about 10 miles to cover it's not too far some people say, right, we got 100 miles, we got 500 kilometers. Nah, I just got 10 miles, mate, 10 miles to cover. <laughs> Let's go. Right, so we are now about a mile away from where we need to be. Not entirely sure how much I can show in the quarry, so um, there may be some cut jumps to uh, to me tipping or something. Possibly. Check my left mirror, all good. These roadworks are uh, a bit of a nuisance, especially coming out of where we've got to come out of in a sec. Um, might sometimes be waiting a while to get out. It's a bit of a nuisance, but you know. Tis what it is. Tis what it is. So yeah, um, today I had eight runs planned originally um, for this run, what we're doing today. Eight runs. We're currently on load four. <laughs> and it's, um, well, it's gone one o'clock in the afternoon. So eight, eight runs are not being done. Um, I'm gonna go back for a fifth and then probably go back for a sixth one as well. You won't just see all of this. You'll see me go back for the fifth, but then um, I'll be going back for another one after that as well. Then make a phone call when we're there at the office and uh, see where to go, because the uh, paperwork says call the office with the last load. So they might send us um, somewhere else with it or back to the yard or something, I don't know. But yeah, we're just gonna pop into here. Excellent. The tractor is uh, letting go of some water from the tank alerts to try and keep the dust down. Move this little bridge. That's one way of getting the dust down, isn't it? Just <laughs> let the water go boom, straight out. 
give my wheels a wash. <laughs> Right, coming into Farnham. Going here. Excellent, right. I am gonna turn the camera off now so it's just facing me. Just to try not to get too much stuff on camera, that was all. So before I go back, I'm just gonna undo my sheet. Nearly there. Takes so long to undo the sheet. There we go. He wants it right there, so tailgate open and P tail one let's get the body up lovely jubbly P tail off in gear drive forward slowly and then bang off there's the bang. And then tailgate down, that's not a tailgate, body down. Just check it's clear to come out. Excellent. And then I uh, just need to double check that there's no stones on the back, so I'm just gonna stop here and make sure the tailgate is shut as well. Okay, that's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so get a move on. Coming out of Farnham. And through the wheel wash. Wasn't that muddy, but we're going to go for it anyway, just to uh, cover our backs. Get the wheels washed up. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'll just stay on it a second while I just check the route is correct. Um, no, that isn't correct. Why is it taking us that way? Doesn't matter. We'll um, we'll amend it. Right, let's go. Lovely jubbly. Fourth one off for the day, which should have been the sixth one really by now. But like I said, we held up earlier. So, right, let's go get our load on show you the site and then um we'll skip to the other day another day when uh, we're doing something else see you in a bit right we are now near the site the site is actually just on the right of us look um i believe there's one guy in there um but he should hopefully be loaded not long after i arrive so i suspect i'll go in be told where to go and then have to wait for him to come on out here, come on out, I'll then reverse back into where we need to be. That's what we're gonna do. So, welcome to Edenbrook Village. Edenbrook Village is the site that we're at today. Everyone active, except me. <laughs> I need to get more active, man. I joined a gym uh, when I started working here at Earthline. I joined a gym. Um, obviously, the gym's closed down. But that's not even my main worry now. My main worry now is because we've moved location of where the yard's based, come on, um, I'd no longer pass the gym to get home. And that's why I joined the gym, because it was on the way home, I could go there for an hour before I go home. But now it's 
completely out of my way. Completely. It would take me, it'd add an extra half an hour at least to my journey, getting home, and it already takes me 20 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to cancel that gym, and yeah, don't know, don't know what to do. Right, let's go right round here. Just coming into sight. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, I think this banksman's probably going to tell me what to do. Shall I go in there? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Did you want me to just reverse in here while he's getting loaded and then I can reverse in then? You can put here on the left side where he's escaping. Yeah? Leave that white rock to get out and up looking Yeah, all right, mate, there we're sweet. Yeah, he just wants me to pull up over here. Enough for him to get on out. Yeah, we're just gonna wait here. So yeah, we uh, where the digger is right in front of you, you can just about see it. He's like digging out a road, so that's where we need to be. But I'm gonna I need to turn around and we normally turn around where the white seven and a half tonner is. All right, he's putting his thumb up, but um, I can't get round. In fact, seven and a half ton is just leaving. It's too small, too small. He's beeping the horn so the driver can air it and come on out. I could try and spin round and try and reverse in, but it's going to be a bit tight. I can turn round elsewhere and try and reverse yeah, we'll in. Do that then, but yeah. Well, is that in there? No. Yeah, I'll spin round and I'll try and reverse in. I'm just going to try spinning around. Wait there a minute mate, I've just got to try and spin around. I've got to spin round. It's going to be a little bit tight because the uh, when I turn round, the front is going to spin and. Uh, yeah, it might be a bit difficult. It might be right. Let's see and find out. It's going to be tight on the front left, that's all. Yeah, plenty of room. Bam, bam, bam. Right, lift the body up. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Yeah, <laughs>
I, to I told you, it's nice and cool in here. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> right, mate. <coughs> right, so. Right, yeah, just having a conversation with um, with people on the CB, discussing what we're going to be doing. It's been a bit of an awkward day because, like I said, we had eight planned. This is only the fifth one, so we're already three shy. I'm quite far. I'm actually the first one. Um, I'm leading the pack. So not necessarily what I do, everyone else has got to do, but if I do... Like, if I come back to get six one, then it makes people look bad if they've only done five, do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like working around it, but at the same time, I just want to crack on and get the job done, personally. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is, by the time I get this tipped off, it's going to be about half past two. I'll then phone the office from the tip and see what they say from there. Um, I suspect we'll have to come back and get another one, or I will have to come back and get another one, which will be load six, and then probably take it back to the yard or something but um we shall cross that bridge when we get there <laughs> but for now we're getting loaded uh paperwork is signed matey boys come over and already signed it so as soon as the onks is on i can go apart from the fact that there is a juicens lorry blocking the entrance slash exit so i can't actually go until he moves anyway <laughs> but um yeah, that's seven and a half tonne that was here. Um, I think he was causing problems there, bless him. He had work to do. We've all got jobs to do, do you know what I mean? So, you can't get too funny and fussy with people. We've, at the end of the day, we've all got a job to do and we've all, uh, we all need to do it. But, uh, tears what it is. <laughs> that's like Monipe was saying. Tears what it is. Um, so yeah, 11 tonne on, 11 and a half tonne nearly. It's getting loaded by a 360. It, what, what's taking this job longer than what it should do is that it's not being loaded from a heap. Uh, normally you... No, don't shut down. Normally there's like a mound of dirt or mud or whatever you're taking away and they scoop it up from the mound like a heap. But um, in this instance, he's actually digging the road up as we go. So, a bit annoying. He's also very close to my back end, so he might, I might get a beep in a minute to uh, move forward a tad. Okay, we're looking like a couple more scoops to go on and we'll be done on this site for this video anyway. i got to come back in, re in reality. <laughs> but uh, for this video, that'll be it. And you'll see me somewhere else. We're on a 17 tonne now. Come on. A couple more buckets. What was that, mate? Yeah, 17, I'm on. One more scoop or two and it should be done. Yeah, I think he's going to beep his on now. There we go. There we go, mate. All yours. Come on, Daff, find a gear, find a gear, find a gear. All right, go on, I can't get out now. There's a juicens there. Oh, yeah, they want me to move over to the right, look. Uh, uh, Where's that car going? That car's going round. Okay, right. I do need to put my sheet on, but I'm just getting out of everyone's way. Before I go fully out the site, let's put the sheet on. Excellent, right, it's clear left, it's clear right. I know it's clear right because the mirror there says. Ha ha ha, we're off. <laughs> uh, I don't think i come around the corner because that mirror says so, but obviously double check anyway. That must be where all the uh, people park their vehicles look around there. 
There we go. So that is uh, Everbrook Village in Fleet. That is that site done. Uh, so you've got to see that job. And uh, in a normal vlog, I would have done that six times. <laughs> but in this video, you're going to see it just the once. This is where we started it off. Um, I'm going to see you in a second. It's going to be a different day, different weather, maybe different clothes, maybe different hairstyle. Who knows? Um, see you in a second. Okay, and welcome back to my channel. Although I can't say that because we're now on day two. Different day, different site. And people who watch my channel, have watched my channel for a while, back in the olden days, will uh, seriously get some um, deja vu with this next bit because we're in Crickglade, which is where I used to work out of a lot. So we used to see footage of this all the time. But not only that, but we are going to Icy Manor Quarry to, uh, to tip off the, the load today. So it's a quarry I used to go to an awful lot of the time as well, back when I was working on tarmac. So um, yeah, we're going to see some interesting sites, uh, some sites that you may not have seen for a long time on this channel, but you are going to see them today. <laughs> so hopefully you're enjoying this video so far, different sites, different days, uh, just trying it out. Today we're in uh, Quick Lade, um, and like I said, we're delivering it to Isley Manor. We've got 15 runs planned. One five. Fifteen. It's a lot of runs. Uh, it's ten o'clock in the morning, and I've done five already. Well, I've done four. Yeah, I've done four. I'm on my way to get my fifth one now. So, um, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're on our way to get the fifth one now. So, fifteen does sound like a lot, but we're not really taking it that far at all. So, it's not actually taking long. He's letting me through. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Cheers, bud. So yeah, um, I had a text message yesterday to say that my drone had been successfully dropped off by UPS. So that's good. I'm waiting for DJI now to contact me to um, organize a repair. <laughs> um, I've logged into their website this morning and they're still saying that they haven't got it, even though it was delivered yesterday. So I'm gonna assume or hope it's just because they haven't actually opened it up yet and scanned the barcode that's inside of the case number. As soon as they scan that barcode, they can um, it pop up, it then pop up on the system saying that um, they got it, that's what I'm assuming. So fingers crossed by the end of today, that'll be the case. If not, then tomorrow I'll um, phone DJI support and find out what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm starting to get uh, a little bit annoyed because um, last Saturday, well, was it last Saturday? What day are we on now? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, last Saturday, not the Saturday just gone, the Saturday before, is when um, I contacted them to get it all sorted out and sent off the case. So it's been seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're on the eleventh day now. Eleven days since I broke my drone and uh, it's currently in Amsterdam and I'm still waiting for it to be fixed and sent back. So even though I didn't send it off until Friday, I think it was on Thursday. That doesn't matter. If you're that interested in it, I've got another video coming out soon on my second channel. And uh, yeah, that reminds me, if you're not subscribed to my second channel, it's called Luke C. Very, um, a lot of effort has been put into it. Very imaginative title. <laughs> uh, if you click the uh, homepage, it should come up on the right as a featured channel um, beneath, beneath the road legends. But yes. Right, we're just going to turn right at this roundabout. My family actually live around here as well. Um, and obviously I used to work around the corner. I'm going to turn it right, tractor, tractor, tractor. Thank you. There's um, a lot of people walking around today, pedestrians, I've noticed. So we have got to be careful of, uh, obviously, pedestrians coming out, make sure we're giving people plenty of room. A lot of cyclists about as well, look, there we go. We are in a residential street, so um, just, just be kind and courteous really, isn't it, to uh, the people walking along the path. You don't want to be driving too fast. Like, there's literally a kid right there, look. Come on car, you come first. No? Okay, you're reversing back. That car just pulled straight out, didn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Definitely pulled straight out there. Coming into Dunmill. 
here we go. This is the site we are doing today. Digger driver knows me. Not too sure how. Um, not from YouTube or anything, but personally knows me. Um, he said I, I look bigger now than what I did when he last saw me, which was years ago apparently. <laughs> so you must know my family, but I don't really know who he is. If you are watching, hello. <laughs> Right, he's done. I'm just going to uh, go around here. You can now get it past behind me. That is perfect timing, that is. He's literally just got loaded just as I pull up. That was spot on timing. We're going to whack it in reverse and go straight back as soon as the daft finds the gear. There we go. Straight back and wait for the beep. There we go. Lift the body up so we can weigh it. And we're gonna just turn that off so it's not annoying. Close the window so it's a little bit quieter. Sort the paperwork out. Uh, time arrived was 10.15 pretty much. And we'll be gone in like 10 minutes max, about five minutes really, so. There we go, uh, and we're self-signing today from here. They don't want to sign. So that's them in a second. I'll give that to someone on the way out. That's for my office. That's for the recycling centre we're going to take it to. Actually, it's not really a recycling centre. Izzy Manor. They're not recycling it. They're, um, well, I mean, you could argue they are recycling it in the sense because they're... Um, using it to uh, put Izzy Manor Quarry back to its original state. So they they dug all the holes and stuff and now they're filling it all back in. So you could argue it's been recycled. It's been moved away from one location, taken to another, but it's not actually being recycled as in stones sorted out or anything like that. It's just being picked up from one place, taken to the other, dropped there, and then the dozer lays it all out. It's just move, literally moving earth around. <laughs> So yeah, um, we're gonna get loaded. We're on 12 ton. It doesn't take long at all to get loaded from this one. That one bucket is just put it up to 14 and a half, pretty much. So two more buckets, if that. We should be done. <laughs> I'm just looking in me old camera, look. I just show you. Ugh. There we go. So there's our total weight there, look. And this is him putting it on. So as soon as he puts this on, we'll uh, lower the bucket because that's going to be more than enough. There we go. Lower the bucket. There we go. We should now flatten us out. Yeah. Right. Put that on there. Wait for the beep. There we go. Get out of his way. There we go. Right, we're just going to put the sheet on. Nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. There we go. That sun's bright put my glasses on so now all we've got to do is give this uh, paperwork to someone out here yeah okay I don't see anyone bum, 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 bum. don't see anyone so okay what I'm probably gonna do then is I'm just gonna I don't really want to hold on to it I'm sure I'm coming back, but I don't want to take it with me in case I'm not. Lovely doubly. I saw, um, I don't know if I should say this, <laughs> but I'll, I'll say it anyway. I saw a post from um, a British touring car racing team advertising for a class one vacancy. 
Well, yeah, class board vacancy uh, and also like a tyre person. And I've applied for it. <laughs> I suspect they're going to get hundreds of applications, but working for a um, racing team would be like a dream job of mine. So that would be amazing. It would actually be amazing. Problem is they're based in Brackley, so it's an hour away. So that's a long commute to work on every day. Um, and it's full time. I like it, you're dead. Yeah, it's full time, so I would uh, I'd be away from the family while I'm there, basically. Um, so we'll see. If, uh, if they do accept me, I'll have to uh, speak to them and find out the details, because there's very few details on the job adver advertisement. So I posted them my details, my CV. I told them about my YouTube as well. So for like marketing reasons, it could be beneficial to the team. Um, see what they say. Worst case scenario, they tell me, well, worst case scenario, they say nothing. <laughs> There's no skin off my nose. I haven't lost anything, have I? So we'll, we'll apply anyway. Right. So, yeah, we're going back through quick lane again, look. As I said earlier, this used to be something that you'd see a lot on my videos, specifically my older ones, when I was working for Tarmac. You'd see, see me coming through here all the time. Thank you, car. Very kind. Oh, keep yawning. I don't know why. I'm not tired and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Too much talking. <laughs> right, let's crack on to Izzy Manor. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we are in Izzy Manor. We used to come in here an awful lot when we were working for Tarmac. I don't want to film uh, too much equipment, so. Um, that's why I'm not filming from the way bridge. I'm sort of already in the quarry, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure one of our drivers are coming over this bridge. So we're just going to wait here. Over we go. And yeah, I don't know if you can see, but over on the left, that's where we're going to be going. And I've I believe they're just going to start filling all that in slowly. Maybe all the water. Getting some drone footage of... Uh, sorry, I realise I keep going on about my drone. <laughs> getting drone footage of, um, of quarries and that would be... Uh, would be quite cool, I think. But we're going to do this window up so we don't get too much dust in here. Yeah, no one down there, so it's just us. Uh, and then straight on takes you into like another area, but it's like a public um, crossing. Like a main road going left and right. I think I have been down there once in a video, possibly, I'm not sure. But yeah, we're tipping all the way down here. This is load number five. 10 more to do. <laughs> um, normally what I like to do personally is um, whatever runs I've got planned for the day, I like to get at least half done before I have my lunch, at least. So I've got 15 planned for today. So I'd, I'd want to get eight done before, uh, before lunch, ideally. So um, at least three more to do after this. You're not going to see it in this video because, you know, once you've seen this once, you've seen it twice, haven't you? <laughs> um, but if I come back here again on a different day, then uh, it will have changed. All this would have been filled in a little bit more. Yeah. Far back and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we're just gonna only do one day. I think he wants me to go. On the left, yeah? Once it on the left. There we go. Oh, I see what you meant now. Okay. From my perspective, it was hard to see the uh, the pile. It comes out a little bit there. Look, I don't know if you can see on that camera. I was going to be tipping right in front of it. He wanted me to tip on the left or the right of that. But from over there, you can't see that. <laughs> 
uh, when you're just looking in a mirror. But never mind, we we'll tip it right here. Turn that annoying beep off. Gonna wait for the bang. Ready. There we go. More bangs on the way down is good as well. We're not gonna drive in the holes here. We're gonna create new ones. I think what some drivers do, you see the tire marks on the floor and they drive in the exact same tire marks. And all that does, it just makes them deeper, which then makes it harder to drive on. So we wanna be driving over these thicker bits to create new tread marks, to flatten it more rather than making the ones that are already ingrooved even deeper, if that makes sense. I mean, we don't want to be going over really big ones, but um, at the same time, we don't want to be going down the uh, the thin ones. <laughs> so what I try to do normally is I go like diagonally cut across, create new lines. I'm sure that probably doesn't even make sense, but <laughs> that's what I do anyway. Right, we're going to go back over Bailey Bridge in a minute. But yeah, get some drone footage of these like lakes and stuff. I've got a lot of lakes near where I live, so um, I will definitely be getting drone footage of lakes. I don't want to go too low though, or or even really above them too much because I'm scared that, uh, that I'll drop it. <laughs> and also I don't want to affect any wildlife either. Like there's loads of birds over there, so I wouldn't want to scare them off or anything. Right, let's go back over Bailey Bridge. Nothing coming the other way. Ugh. Big bump. Right. And that's it. <laughs> That's it for uh, for this uh, for today for me. But next video or clip you're going to see is going to be tomorrow, um, and hopefully we'll be doing something different, not the same thing. If we're doing the same thing, there, there is a chance we'll be doing the same thing. Um, but if we are, if we're not, you'll see something else. If we are, then I'll um, I'll say so, and then maybe show you one more time. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome to day three. Yeah, day three. Uh, this is the third and final section in this vlog. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, we're in a different different day. Today's Thursday. Why am I yawning? <sighs> it's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not even that tired. But today's Thursday, uh, which is technically my Friday. I'll uh, I'll uh, tell you more about that why in a bit. Um, and <laughs> we're in we're in Andover. We're just about to come off now. At, uh, Picket Twenty. We're going to the old Carday building where I'm having some serious troubles with the gang there. Uh, and we're taking it back to Thruxton to tip off um, on the race circuit. But um, yeah, I'm having some problems here with this gang. This is my third uh, trip here now. I've got nine scheduled uh, loads to go today. I'm about to go get my third one now. But on the first one, I turned up and uh, I got loaded. Uh, I reached my weight. I put the body down, which is what you do. And then the digger driver normally knows that's it. You don't want any more on you. You're fully loaded. No, this digger driver decides to swing his arm around, pick up another load. I see this, I'm beeping my arm to say stop. He lifts his arm up, I'm still beeping my arm. He puts it over my body, I'm still beeping my arm, and he plonks it down on top of what he's already done. So then, um, and then he starts flattening it off, and someone comes over to me, uh, actually three people come over to me, as if to say, what you'd even on for. I said, mate, I lowered my body and he's been to put another bucket on. I reweighed myself. I said, I'm two ton overweight. You've got to take it off. And they looked at me like, no. Apparently uh, at this place, they want you to put your body down and then he put one last bucket on. I said, right, okay, that's not how I do it. When I put my body down, that's it, no more. He goes, all right, next time we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. I said, all right. And then I said, it needs coming off. He goes, no, you can take it like that. I said. No mate, <laughs> I'm two ton overweight. I'm not taking it. So um, even though he put one bucket on, it took him like four or five buckets to take it off. He was doing it in like little amounts. And then I was eventually uh, able to go. 
So I phoned the office, I let the office know, they, uh, they said, all right, thanks for letting us know. And that was that. I went and done my second run. Um, this time I'd done as they said, so I put the body down, expecting them to put another bucket on, which was about two tonne a bucket. So I knew I would have been underweight. So he put, he put the other bucket on once I put the body down. I then started putting my sheet over. He then started honking his horn and saying, oh, it's not a full load. I said, yes, it is, it's a full load. They said, all right, well, let me flatten it. So I let him flatten it, and I can see in my camera here, you've seen it. As he was flattening it, he put another half a bucket in. And um, so I reweighed it, and uh, guess what? Overweight again. So I said, now you can take that back out. So the, the gang in happy with me, I'm going to let him come because I want to go right there. The gang there in happy with me because I'm being fussy. Um, the office is aware, and the office said, if they do it again, let them know. I think they might pull the plug, I don't know. I don't know whether they will or not, but um, yeah, we're on a bit of an intro, I know, but uh, we're on our third one now, so we're going to see what they say. Apparently the officers phoned them and told them, when I say that's it, that's it. But um, yeah, it's just, the digger driver is shaking his head like it's my fault. Like, it's not my fault, mate. When I'm fully loaded, I'm fully loaded. I ain't taking more than the legal amount. So, and I'm the only one on this today as well, so. Yeah, <laughs> but apparently they've tried pushing their luck with other drivers. So anyway, we're just around the corner now. It wound me up a little bit this morning. I got quite, not, not aggressive, but I got, I got a bit heated, in a heated conversation. So let's see what happens now. Indicator on. Wait for the gate man to let me in. Yeah, the digger's right in front of us. And that's the stuff we're taking, but he um, just keeps overloading me. I keep asking him to take it off. And he's getting funny about it. Like, don't overload me in the first place. As soon as I, I'm going to beat my horn and say, that's it. Body down, beat the horn. They've, uh, like I said, they've had a phone call, so hopefully we won't have any problems on this one. The bankman seems all right, but, you know, he, I asked him what the digger driver was doing and his reply was, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. I don't think I don't think it's an English gang. I don't know what nationality they are, but uh, the digger driver isn't English. Uh, I don't know if there's a communication barrier or anything. Right, buddy. Nine fifteen. We are here. Put down what we're taking away. Right, we're on six and a half ton. We're on eight and a half ton, so yeah, it's two ton. Two ton a bucket. So um, when we get to 16 ton, I'll um, put, the, put the body down. Right, so the next bucket, I'll put the body down. One more bucket to go on, and then I'll put the body down, and then um, hopefully you'll then put one more on. Right, so now we're 16 and a half, body is down, one more bucket.
I don't know if he's putting one more bucket on or not, is he? There we go, last bucket. Done? Cool. Give me the Pardon? Give me the you want the receipt? Give. There we go, buddy. All right. I'll give you a receipt. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that time was perfect. What's he beeping for? All right, mate. All right. There was a little bit of, um, I don't know what you call it, like a rope hanging off the back of the uh, the truck, which he uh, spotted. I didn't see that from behind, but uh, the digger driver spotted it. It's a fair play to the digger driver for spotting that. He could, <laughs> if he's had a phone call from my office, he could quite easily just let me drive off, but he didn't. So um, yeah, we stopped at 16 and a half ton. He put another bucket in. So we know we're at 18 and a half ton. So that's good. Before we um, drive off fully, I am actually just gonna double check. I should have double checked before I left, but I'm just gonna double check anyway. Yep, we're actually a little bit under maximum weight. The alarm didn't go off, so we're not, we're not at maximum weight at all. But I'd rather be half a ton under than half a ton over especially after this morning so um, yeah happy days so far so good <laughs> but there's definitely an atmosphere in there now this morning it, it was fine when I first arrived then I sort of uh, like mouthed off with them a little bit and then because they were being excuse my language here but they were being complete dickheads but um, now um, now they've had a, a bit of a word from myself and from the office <laughs> They don't seem so friendly. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So we're going to take this back to, to Fruxton now, tip off at the um, Fruxton circuit, and then come back for more. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're just turning up to Fruxton now. We've got to get ourselves weighed. We already know that we're not overweight according to our scales, uh, but we have to weigh ourselves anyway. Another load for the tip, mate. We'll uh, undo our sheet while we're waiting. Okay, that's done. Sheet is off. <laughs> we only weigh 30 ton. <laughs> we're, um, we're two ton uh, uh, light over our total weight. You know, if we, if, if the, the site did things the way I would want to do it, so I'll keep my body up until i am reached my optimal weight, put the, put the body down, that's it. I'll weigh perfectly fine, but because they want me to put the body down first, before they put the last bucket in, I'm, I'm guessing. So it is going to be light. So, but it kind of serves their own right anyway for overloading me the first two times. Um, having to take some off. <laughs> so, never mind. We've, uh, like I said, I've got nine runs planned from there today. This is the third one, so yeah. yeah hopefully, the other, the other six will be fine. You, you, of course, are not going to see the rest of them. Uh, the cameras are going to be set up in the truck, so if anything interesting does happen, uh, they'll be on again. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we'll see. Right, let's go get this tipped off. Got some more chalk, mate. We go, tipping it up. Excellent. 
Escalante, easy as that. Easy as that. Put the body down and uh, I like to pull out the way before I check it. Make sure it's all okay. Oh, I'll do that window up a little bit dusty. So I'm just going to wait for the body to go down and then I'm going to check it to make sure the rocks are out because it's quite rocky stuff this. And then make sure the hooks are done up as well. That's the dust cleared. Yeah, no rocks are on it and uh, the hooks are nice and clear. Clear? The hooks are nice and up rather. Good to go. So, uh, we now just got to uh, go back and get reloaded again. Six more times. Six more times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 